We're just over a week into spring at this point. Um, it's currently, well, it's been raining. Uh, it's kind of a sprinkling at the moment. I'm shooting this inside of a tunnel up for now, just to make use of this lighting. Uh, <clears throat> frogs are out calling quite a bit. Uh, should be some salamanders out looking for some meals and well for each other it's the breeding season for some of them right now uh, so yeah first video of spring oh dear god <laughs> uh, sorry I just realized the end of this tunnel is kind of flooded uh, I should be okay to make it through here but I'm, I'm curious to see what the rest of the trail looks like at the moment uh, but yeah uh, Got trusty frog umbrella. Let's see what I can catch. Alright, so I just unplugged my mic real quick just so that hopefully you guys can hear the uh, frogs singing. <laughs> it sounds like most of them are about 30 feet ahead of me. Um, I don't know if you can even see the woods in front of me right now. Uh, not worth my time really to try and make my way through all of that, but it's nice to hear. It's nice to hear. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, we have our first critter uh, of 2019. A little toad. Hopefully going to be very cooperative because they're very cold. Uh... I think American Toad. Let me see your underside. I think American. I'll have to double check here in a second. Yeah, there's. Oop. Help if I was actually shooting the animal. Actually, let me turn the light on on this thing. Eh, that's much better. <laughs> Not too cold to jump a little bit. Aren't you adorable? <laughs> so graceful. <clears throat> so yes, now confirmed. <laughs> this is a little American toad. Oh, no, come back, come back, come back, come back. <sighs> the thing that I had to check so I can get this whoop no 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 to focus the thing that I was checking oh come on now I just want one little shot of your head one there we go whoop you can see the little ridges on the top of their head, just in front of their poison glands. Uh, oh, this is gonna go bad here in a second. Um, little ridges and the glands aren't connected. Come back here. Which is how you tell that it's an American toad, as opposed to what I was wondering, a Fowler's toad, where the glands are much closer. But. Let me let them on their way. They are not happy with me. Very good to see you, little buddy. Since it's the first critter I've found this year. I'm super excited that it's a toad. Well, now we have our first frog of the year. Um, not that far down the trail from the toad. Um, this one I am going to actually have to catch and sequester while I figure out exactly what it is. Uh, these smaller frogs of the area are not my forte. So, let me go ahead and just secure, th well, try and secure them. First I have to find the container. Doop, 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 doop. Anyways, here shortly, I should have a little mini species profile on them. And now, oop, fix my headlamp real quick. <clears throat> Got a much larger toad. 
is probably not going to find me amusing at all. Although maybe, just maybe, they'll let me get close enough to... Oh, dear God, you're big. You are a chunk. Let me get a shot of the back of their head so I can get a bit better visual aid for you guys. Oh, you're fine. You are just fine. Whoop. Okay. Now, I believe this is actually a Fowler's Toad, I think. You can see, hopefully, Let's see, it. there we go, glands are much, much closer to these little ridges just behind the eyes. Let me see your belly. Can I see your belly? Please, please. I just want to show them your belly. I feel like this is going to be a trend on this channel. Whoop. Come on, you're fine. Let's see. Hold still. There we go. That's all I want. Just to see those little spots. Ugh. Yet again. Whoop. Like I said, I'll have to double check, but I believe that's another indication that this is a Fowler's Toad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye. Have a lovely... I've been going back over the uh, footage from last night and editing everything together and realized I should probably just kind of stop for a second and uh, comment on some of the, well, comments that I was making on how to identify the um, American Toad versus the Fowler's Toad. Um, for example, the spotting that I mentioned as a trait of the Fowler's Toad is actually a common trait of the American Toad. Um, the, uh, the other really big issue here is that uh, both species are highly, highly variable, especially the American toad um, in I mean, size, color, pattern in general. Um, they also, they're, since their ranges overlap and they're so closely related, they will hybridize sometimes. So you can have, you know, three different toads that look almost identical to each other, except for tiny little bits of their anatomy that you have to uh, really kind of nitpick, and it'll turn out that you'll have a member of one of each species and a hybrid. Um, anyways, so I may have to go and actually make a video entirely on these guys and uh, go out and catch as many of them as I can just so I have a bunch of visual aids that I can point to. Anywho. I would just mention this is actually somewhat frustrating. Um, not so much because I'm not finding anything, but because I can hear things. Um, the trail that I'm going along pretty much follows a creek. Uh, cr they cr crisscross each other a little bit. There's a bunch of little pools whenever it rains. Oh, nope, that's bark. A um, <laughs> bunch of little pools whenever it rains that uh, frogs and toads and things like... Well, yeah, frogs and toads mostly uh, like to congregate at and they'll use to call to each other. And breed. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, another toad. Um, <laughs> so funny when you walk up to them and they just look like they're just standing at attention. But yeah, what's frustrating is all of this water is still very cold. Um, and I am wearing flip flops. <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, the, the puddles along the side of the road, or the, along the side of the trail, rather, aren't exactly dangerous to go through. They're just very, very cold. Um, and then the creek itself, since it's been raining, is a bit of a death trap for me right now in these flip-flops. But that's the price you pay. Um, definitely going to have to invest in some very tall rubber boots. Doop, 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 doop. Another just chunk. Look at you. Actually going to show off their little 
threat display there. Um, it's not exactly the most effective thing against larger predators, but in some cases against some of the snakes and things like that that might otherwise eat these, it can be kind of effective. This one's a really pretty red, reddish brown <laughs> color. Fine. I'll leave you alone. Or at least not pick you up. Alright guys, got our second frog, <laughs> who might think that they're hiding better than they are. So even before I get any closer, let me get ready to catch it and put it in something. So that I can identify it at my leisure. Looks like some sort of little leopard or pickerel frog. Anyways, Let's see if I can actually focus on it. Okay. Alright, so I need two hands for this, but like I said, here in a second. We should have a bit more detailed info on them. Okay, so um, I just stopped under a bridge. Double check around here real quick um, to uh, double check on the ID of those frogs that I caught and came across something I did not expect to see at all. I found a bat. Focus on it just a little bit better here. Um, I wasn't sure if it was alive at first. I didn't think that it was warm enough for them to be out and about, but it did move just a second ago and is now staring down at me. Um, part of why I wasn't sure if they were, or if it was alive, was honestly just because uh, I didn't think there were any mosquitoes out and about yet. But of course, in the course of filming this little segment, I've found mosquitoes so that explains that uh yeah but that that's just that is too cool all right little buddy and then figure out stuff about these frogs and leave you alone now <laughs> okay like i said i stopped to double check IDs on these, and it appears my initial thoughts were correct. Hope this one doesn't jump away. Uh, this would be <laughs> the uh, aptly named, considering what I've been hearing all night, Spring Peeper. Uh, it's pretty much a full grown adult. Maybe it'll darken back up now that it's out of its enclosure and has something to try and blend in with. So I try to get some lighting. <laughs> yeah, just one of the many very small frogs that we have around here that are just waking up and getting nice and happy this time of year. I'm not sure why tonight all the frogs are trying, or all the frogs and toads are trying to climb up me. Yeah, so there's that one. Go ahead and try and... <laughs> you're just, you're not, you're not cooperating, buddy. I mean, it's a cool shot and all. Hello! I'm going to jump on the camera, really. I'm along. Try and release these back in roughly the same place where I found them. Now on to the other, which is a bit more active now that it's not just sitting in water. This would be the Plains Leopard Frog. Please don't immediately jump out. As you can 
let's see, they have, or you can see where, how they got their name based on their pattern. And this one's also about as big as they'll get. Let's see if I can actually pick it up. Whoop! <laughs> it's probably going to jump into the creek here in just a second. Come here. Nope. Come on. It might not be able to release this one right back where I found it. Nope, it is not going to cooperate whatsoever. And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, and into the water. All right, guys, well, oh, get one last little shot of my little chiropter and friend here. They were moving a little bit. <clears throat> but it's getting a bit late. I may stop and get a bit more video along the way in case I find anything super fun, but just in case I haven't, or I don't, rather, this, uh, this has been a pretty good first expedition. Um, yeah, I did not expect it to go quite this well. Um, didn't see any, any, uh, what should I call, uh, salamanders or newts or anything, but I generally have terrible luck finding those. Hopefully, though, I'll be able to find at least a central newt or something along those lines. Well, I guess that's really about the only newt that you'll probably, or I'll probably be able to find and show you guys. But usually I find those a little bit later in the year. Don't tell me that's another frog or something. Nope, that is just random trash. Anyways, happy spring, everybody. Uh, it's a new year. I'm looking forward to bringing you some new stuff. Um, I've got a few new locations that I'm hoping to go shoot at. I've also got a few people who are hopefully going to be able to help me out on some of these shoots. Um, with camera work for the most part so that I'm not trying to, like tonight, hold a camera, an animal, and something like an umbrella at the same time. Uh, gets a bit hectic. So yeah, signing off for now. Now, sorry, really hoping to see another bat. Oh, all right. <clears throat> On the return trip, I will be stopping to show you every single toad that I find all over again. I just love the variability on them. <laughs> Alright buddy, you eat some worms. So I'm on my way back and I found something that might be slightly harder than the leopard frog <laughs> to work with. Hello! little one. Let me pick you up so I can be... Oop, come here. <laughs> there we go. I found a little bullfrog. I say little because they get significantly larger than this. I have one of my f they their call is one of my favorite sounds of this area. Um, well, actually, this area and large portions of the country and actually the world at this point, because they're highly adaptable, and in some places have been introduced and are now actually wrecking some ecosystems. Focus, focus. <laughs> Anyways. Yep, just a little bullfrog. If it wasn't so cold, it would not be anywhere near this cooperative. <laughs> see the... Whoop. See my hand as it jumps away. Come along. Or don't. Goodbye. I was going to show... Or try and get a better shot of their ears. 
hopefully you saw but yeah they have gigantic ears Oop. <laughs> and a toad all right continuing home slight correction there uh, it's a green frog um, at the time I did not notice the little dorsolateral ridges um, you can see them where the uh, back and the sides meet um, green frogs and bronze frogs down south from here do have those bullfrogs do not the uh, the patterns also a little bit different on the actual uh, bullfrogs um, basically there's just a bit more of it um, otherwise pretty much all the information given here on the uh, bullfrogs applies to the green frogs um, as far as I know green frogs don't have nearly as big of an issue with being invasive in other parts of the country in the world. Um, bullfrogs essentially were just introduced either on purpose or on accident for uh, food purposes, either just for uh, sport fishermen or both sport hunters. People catch frogs or uh, once it escaped from farming operations. Anyways. We are... Oh, back to the really cold water of the flooded tunnel. I forgot how cold that was. Um, whew, one second. All right, anyways. So yeah, unless I happen to come across anything coming through here, this will probably be the end of tonight's adventure. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the experience. I know I did. It's been a long winter. So I'm really happy to get out and find some stuff. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Oh crap, that's cold. <laughs>